We actually di dissected a lot of game film um, over this break as a staff, and for us it was to see just those little things that we can improve on. Now we're focused on the details. You know, you, you basically have your system in, you have your brand in. Now you got to hit shots and defend and rebound and do all those little things and um, tidy up some other other things. So I think for us it was just a matter of seeing if we had that carryover from a good tough week and a half of practice. Uh, we're going t some two a days to get our legs back under us. Um, we were going hard, and we didn't want to kind of have to knock the rust off. Um, we wanted to be prepared to, to come in and, and play this team hard and um, play to our best ability and then kind of have a good momentum win, win going into conference. Did you see the carryover of a lot of things you had established before so that you're not having to reboot? Yeah, th there still is a long way to go, and um, that's good for us. We continue want, continually want to get better every day in practice, every game. Um, but I think the effort piece for us is what we want to be consistent at. And so I think the second half, that effort was really for the whole 20 minutes. We can go up and down a little bit. And, and this style, you're going to get winded. But as long as you continue to play hard, we'll get bodies in and out. And we can use the whole bench. So for us, you know, just those little details of X's and O's we want to see improvements on. I thought we did a lot better job of sprinting the floor, getting the ball in the paint. I mean, 82 points in the paint, especially when you're not hitting threes. That's kind of a necessity to score at the rim, and we did a good job tonight of doing that. The, the full court defense has been so good all season. What did you see in the half court improvements today? Um, you know, defensively, we're, we're trying to rattle them early. So it starts with our front line. Can we, can we tag, as we call it? Can we get nose to nose and deny that entry? Then once the entry does come in, let's settle in and see if we can go, you know, if, if we can go and we can trap. And then if they get into the half court, we got to play solid half court defense. That's an area where we're really trying to work on improving because we're in a lot of rotations a lot of the time. So when we're in rotation mode and we're in scramble mode, can we close out and play solid? So for us, it's just a matter of knowing kind of when and where to go and then when to be solid in the half court and then always finish with a defensive rebound. We've been focusing on rebounding so much, so it was nice today to win the rebounding more. Is it good to see, you know, every once in a while you're going to see a team that just chucks threes. Yeah. You know, you saw somebody that <laughs> took 35 today and, you know, a lot of closeouts, a lot of long rebounds. Yeah, you know, it was obvious at the end of the game, there was about 30 seconds left. We were going to win that one, but TC is giving that second effort and getting a block on the three-point line. Um, I think we, a little bit earlier, we need to adjust, especially, I mean, number 12 was just hot. She was feeling it and she was letting it fly. So we got to crowd her a little bit more, or maybe we have to t stay, stay a step closer to her um, instead of that weak side help. So we kind of have to realize that as the game goes along. But it was a good opportunity for us also to rebound and block out because with a lot of threes comes a lot of op offensive board opportunities. So we got to find a body a little bit better and, and finish the play. This kind of game is an opportunity for other people to have expanded roles. Benla did some stuff in the paint today. Carla got some extra time while Katie was getting tended to. Yeah, I think especially with Vin, she's so multidimensional. She's long and she's like a gazelle out there. So we want to use her length and speed a little bit. So if she can be the front runner and beat everyone down the court and try to get one of those rim runs, we'll give it to her. And, and if she doesn't, then she's pretty good at posting up and making a composed move in there. So we're trying to utilize her speed a little bit more. We don't want her to be a, a one trick pony and just be out waving at the three point line because she has that speed and length on a lot of her defenders. So we're trying to utilize her in that way. Also utilizing, you know, we, we do a pretty good job in transition and then our secondary transition and then it kind of goes stagnant. So I thought we did a better job today of, of moving without the ball, kind of in low shot clock situations. We shared the ball pretty well too, especially in that second half. We were making that extra effort and extra pass, which is always good to see. If you compartmentalize the season and you just take the non-conference, are you happy with what you've done in these games as being one bucket away from being perfect? Yeah, I, I mean, for me, it's all about can we implement the style of basketball that I envisioned for this team? Because I think we have the personnel too. Now that you see them buying in, they're allowing me to coach them, they're allowing me to push them. You know, at halftime in the locker room, I had to hold them accountable to how hard they were playing. And then I think you saw a second half effort that was much better than the first. So them allowing us to gel and mold like that and just being very coachable and buying in is huge for this team. So I think the progression of it is, okay, non-conference, we were figuring some things out. You know, this is a 
180 in terms of brand of basketball than what these returners were used to. So now let's roll with it and let's get better every day and, and really make a statement during conference. I want us to be the team that plays the hardest. Like that's, that's this brand of basketball, fly around, play hard, second and third effort. Um, and I think you saw that. I, I think LP, I mean, she played 40 minutes of hard basketball. I mean, when she was in there, I don't know exactly her, her minutes number, but uh, 27 minutes. I mean, she played hard basketball. You're seeing Vin run the floor, play hard basketball. That extra effort is what we want one through five on the court every single time. And good things happen, and, and good things did happen when we played hard today. And that um, culture you're creating and the unity, that, that shows in a moment like at the end of the game when Cameron <laughs> gets her first bucket and that's probably the most excited the bench was all day. Yeah, I, it's sweet, right? Like you've got someone who we just found on campus to help us with um, at that point in time, we had 10 scholarship players. We had an ACL, we had you know this, that, and the other. So we were trying to look for someone to help this team a little bit and, and be in there to, to grab a sub. <laughs> they didn't have subs for very long. So um, she's putting the work into practice. So I think our kids and the girls really like to see their teammate get a bucket and it kind of pay off and root for her because you know she's doing the behind the scenes work that no one sees. So it, it was good to see our kids really appreciate that and show her some love. Um, well, the effort piece was huge, but I think they know that we can pretty much wear teams down um, in that third and fourth quarter. They've faced, hopefully, a tenacious, nonstop, full court, pressing, get after it defense. And so by the time quarter three and four rolls around, you're hoping they're a little bit tired and we're trying to extra effort at that point in time. So in halftime, we, we just have to talk about keep pressing, kind of put the foot on the gas a little bit and play hard. We, we can get you out. Um, I don't want to have to sub you because I don't think you're playing hard enough. I want to have to sub you because you played so hard that you probably can't go another possession. That's what we want to see from this team. And you had three 10-point runs. So what do you really think was working for your offense at the beginning when you had six minutes scoreless? I mean, the points in the paint was huge. So we really emphasized this past week of our transition and running down the center of the floor and then finding someone and trying to bury it. Like, that's easy basketball. If you can send it up the floor, get it within three feet of the basket, turn around, make a post move, there you are in layup land. And so we're trying to play easy basketball, you know, get inside. We, we've got some skilled players on the perimeter there. So um, then once you get it inside, it opens up your perimeter game. So then going to the next thing, we, we talk about crossing the nail a lot. We don't want the ball to stay on one side. So we want to make the weak side become the strong side, the strong side become the weak side, and move that basketball around. I thought we did that better today, especially the second half.